It's an interesting choice there with what's going on with this ongoing uh, lockout for Major League Baseball. And uh, Charlie Gasparino is right. Uh, this, this could be a lot more involved than earlier thought. Charlie, what are you hearing? Neil, do you pick out the songs for your show? No, I do not. No, I do not. Because, because I, tend I, to I, I tend to gravitate to Gregorian chants, that sort of stuff, and they say no. <laughs> but that might have been more I apropos say, here. Uh, I, 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 I knew that because the music is actually getting better with that Thank song. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, that's our young up-and-coming kids. <laughs> by, by the way, that's that's my era. That's not these kids. They're, no, forget they're, they're into it. They're into Cardi B. Um, you know, one thing we can say about this, Neil, is that there's two things that everybody agrees on. They both don't, both sides don't like each other. Owners, players, they're hopelessly deadlocked right now. <clears throat> That's the first thing they agree on. The second thing they agree on, I've been talking to people both at the league level, the owners level, and also with the players. The other thing they agree on is that baseball is facing an existential crisis right now. Not only is the game slow plotting, teams essentially don't spend money they have. Don't ask me why they do it, but they're not spending money. They're spending money on the on the highest paid players, the superstars, but the, the radical middle that keeps the game going, those good, really good players, the guys that make between one and five million dollars, those players are getting screwed more or less during in all these contract negotiations and over time. And there's a there's a talent drain from baseball. That's all that's all a lot of what, all that to deal with all that is riding on these on these negotiations that are now there's a lockout now uh for for going on two weeks and i'll tell you if you talk to people in baseball they don't think this thing is going to get solved to the last minute they believe there will be a season it'll be they'll cut some deal close to the close to the edge but but i'm telling you that both sides show no signs of of giving in here the, the owners are blaming you know superstar agents for this they're blaming scott boris essentially for uh for leading the negotiations that he has taken over the negotiations on behalf of Tony Clark and the Players Union. The Players Union denies that. He's he's a voice. He's not the only voice, they say. Uh, they say the owners just don't even want to talk to them, that they have certain proposals in terms of shortening the, arbit the, the amount of time it takes for a player to go into arbitration, shortening the amount of time to be a free agent, that the owners just won't deal on whatsoever. And so you have this, this lockout. So this is getting pretty nasty. Uh, again, we're in week three. For all I know, something smart's going to happen tomorrow. But I will say this, Neil, if there's the people agree on both sides when you talk to them, that baseball is in really desperate shape. Uh, the, the game is slow, but there's all these economic incentives for teams not to spend money on, on players. And I'm not talking about the top players, the guys that get millions. I'm talking about the radical middle that keep a game going. I mean, that's what baseball is all about. It's all these really good players fighting it out. And those players are not getting paid, essentially. That's what we're hearing. And they're not getting paid because teams are economic scenario that they have to come to terms with. So maybe out of this whole storm that we have here, and I withheld myself from saying what I wanted to say, uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. But they're they're hopelessly deadlocked. Neil, back to you. All right. I wonder what that, that term you were going to use would possibly be. <laughs> um, Charlie Gasparino, thank you very, very yes. much. Good seeing you. <laughs>